Okay guys, what is up? Godsplitter here. Uh, we're going to run over a real basic glitch just real quick. Uh, I'll let you see the introduction. So we start chapter 3. Uh, make sure everyone has headsets. Make sure everybody is going quarterly and understands what's going on. Has good communication. Uh, hand callouts. Uh, the spot callouts for shooting. This glitch is real simple to do and I'll explain it as we go. It's There's nothing that's essential to doing this as long as you have someone that understands how to do the duel and is communicating actively with the, the call outs from that portal to the crew back fighting off the ads. So we're going to do the little scene real quick. Okay, immediately after this scene, have two people run left, two people run right. Um, one guy's going to come over here, he's going to stand on the pad so it opens up the, the pillars that the other person can stand on to get to the portal. Um, be sure guys to clear any ads that come up. If you got an assassin, which is always a good thing to have, um, you can go invisible at this point. Uh, it's not something that's required, but it does help because sometimes those enemies throw a kunai. Just pay attention right here after they get into the portal. Sometimes there will be a call out right there okay so good thing they, they backed me up on that shot because I missed but um that's good coordination right there guys uh, the glitch is about to take place this is a stat glitch by the way guys if you're trying to get that last cosmetic item this is how you go about doing it whoever's inside they play until they get four stacks of corruption no more no less or it won't work uh, after four stacks either we shoot them out or the player leaves the session and essentially, after they leave the session, immediately after you see that happen, you gotta press your start button and you gotta go to your social. Go ahead and reinvite them as quick as you can. See, player left the session, reinvite. Now, just remember, guys, also something else to keep in mind um, you're trying to get the stacks to four. I know I said that, but I can't say that enough. Um, if you're on three and you go down, and then you leave the session, it's gonna say a ghost has fallen and you're gonna fail it. So make sure you're at four, make sure they shoot you out of the portal, by the way, and then leave the session. Don't leave the session when you're in there in the duel. And okay, um, be sure to watch your call outs, especially when you're in there. If you're the one doing the duel, make sure you call those out accurately, even take your time just for a second if you need to, um, to make sure you call it the right one. And, uh, We'll let you watch the rest of the video, and um, on the very last one, I'll do a little bit more commentary to let you know what I'm doing and why it's important, because initially we run um, the same guy through to do the battle or the duel three times, and on the last go, I'm going to jump in. The reason being, in our group, we only had one Ronin. Uh, you can have as many as you want, it'll help out. Uh, I have perfect parry on and counter damage, which is a big plus for this chapter 3 boss, by the way. Helps out dramatically. Um, but yeah, I'll let you watch the rest of the video, guys. You'll see me jumping out, though, a little bit more commentary at the very last. Into the shadows! Take your final breath.
take your final breath. Okay, guys, this is the part I was getting at that we normally, for the very last go on the fourth shot, whoever is in there gets stuck in there. You have to either kill her at that moment or you're just going to be stuck in there. So the best thing to do is if you do have a runner on the team, I do recommend you have a runner on the team. It's not essential, but it does help out quite a bit, guys. If you're going for this challenge, I, I do highly recommend it. It's not essential. But in this last portion right here, the last person in here calls out your signs. You can see it on the right side right there. Give that call. This is where the perfect parry window and counter damage comes into play. Um, make sure you have a Ronin, like I said, because if I die in here right now, which I didn't, but I could have, the Ronin can revive. But guys, essentially, uh, that's the trick. It's, it's real simple. Just make sure that you don't get above four stacks. If you get above four stacks, have them shoot you out. It's really not that difficult. Just good communication, clear communication. And of course, guys, if you haven't seen this, after you kill her, she spawns out here and everybody has to go over there and just beat the hell out of her. And I mean, it, that's it, guys. It's real simple, real easy. I'll let y'all watch the rest of the fight real quick. And um, by all means, guys, like and subscribe if you like what I'm seeing. If you want to see anything else, just let me know. But it helps. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Ghost proved that no one in all the realm 